Hey guys, this is Kevin Cam with Precision Power Lifting Systems. We're gonna do this one outside. Uh, this is gonna be a Corona style squat video here. So what, one of the things, a lot of us are stuck right now without access to a lot of equipment um, or any equipment at all, but it doesn't mean that we can't get better at our sport. There's one thing that I know, you know, the majority of people who are powerlifting have been doing it for less than five years. Most of you aren't very good at creating tension. So one of the skills that we can really work on during this time is actually creating tension. And that's what I'm gonna do here with Jess with nothing more than a stick. You can use a broom, you can use nothing even if you have to. So the first thing that she's gonna do is she's just gonna put this on her back where she would normally squat. She's gonna make sure her hands are in a position that she can squeeze the bar. She's pulling her shoulder blades together and she's gonna pull that bar down on her back so hard that you should see it fucking bend. From there, she's gonna get her a normal squat stance. So we want her a little wider than this, okay? And then from here, what she's gonna do is she's gonna turn her legs out as hard as she fucking, leave your feet where they are, but turn your legs out as hard as you can. So she's gonna push her hips, her knees, her feet, spreading apart at this whole time. She's gonna flex her lats really hard as she's pulling that bar down. From here, she's gonna take a breath into her belly and push out really fucking hard while keeping her head back and everything else tight. Do this for like five seconds, then she's gonna relax like relax everything and then get right back into it and do it right from step one. And if I come over, like I should be able to hit her and she shouldn't be able to lose her breath like that. But you should, you should just practice in each repetition you do, if you're gonna do multiple sets of five seconds, you should be getting tighter each and every time. And when you actually go back to take your breath, you should feel like you're going to pass out. Um, and this is something, it's going to take practice. The first time you do it, Jess is not very tight right now. And this is one of the problems she has in her lifts. She doesn't build enough tension to be able to support and lift heavier weights. So the more and more she practices this, the better it will carry over at some point when we're able to get back into the gym and lift some weights. Uh, be sure to follow me on Instagram. It's KWCAN, our team, Precision Power Lifting Systems.